What's up guys, it's me again, Crush Pixel. Today I'm here in Minecraft 1.6.1 and I've got another really exciting MC Edit filter for you. It actually took some time to write it and it's over 700 lines of code long, but it was worth it and it's totally working. What I'm talking about is the Equipper filter. It builds a fully functioning Equipper out of a chest. Uh, everything you have to do is put the items you want the equippers to give you into a chest. Uh, you have to put every item in a certain place uh, so you get it right. And this is very useful for any map makers and maps which use um, classes, like custom classes. You get some armor and some potions. Uh, like in League of Minecraft, and I actually designed this for League of Minecraft because. Um, I didn't want to build a, a equipper always manually and these equippers are a lot faster than the ones uh, that I had before and uh, so I want these um, items to be given to me and the first five slots are slots which you can only give once so, so and the items can only be given once to you like um, the sword and the chest plates and all the armor here but it doesn't matter because um, you get them all in a random uh, you, you get them at a random place in your inventory and um, because it, this can't be controlled because if you step on the pressure plate um, one of these uh, dispensers will be triggered randomly first I can't control this but the four last slots are for um, anything you want to give the player multiple times and in a um, certain this um, row so you want first want to give the harming then the weakness then the strength and so on and you can control whether you want to give this once twice three times or four times and um, this is all possible to do in the filter and you also can just um, make the knockback stick here for example give, be given to you once and the chain chest plate too and then here leave some space if you don't want um, any other armor and then just some splash potion of harming or anything multiple times so I'll just head over to MC Edit and show you how the filter works okay so now I'm here in MC Edit and these are the two chests the first one is the one with um, the armor and all of the potions and so on in it and this one is the one with the stick and the chest plate and so on and I enchanted some of the items and renamed them so you can see that um, it will keep the name and the enchantments and every NBT data you give you give it um, and this is very important because else it wouldn't make a lot sense uh, because if you want to have some special ability like uh, star call for Soraka for example you want to have the potion be named like this and so I'll just go to filter and then I go to the equipper filter and there are a lot of options first you can decide which material you want to, the equipper to be out of I'll choose clay and it should be red clay here you can move the um, the equipper which is going to look like this later uh, you can move it on the X, Y and Z axis but I won't do this because it's already in a pretty good position here and here I can decide whether I want a dispenser or a dropper and this is very important for the splash potions because if they get dispensed by a dispenser the effect will be given to you and you won't just get an item so but in, on the armor which are slots 1, 2, 3 and 4 I want them to be dispensed onto me so I am already wear them when I step into there. Okay, because the first one is a sword, I'll take a dropper and for the others I want dispensers, but not for the potions and let's say I want the first potion twice, this one four times, this one three times and the last one just once and then I'll just click filter and you see the whole structure has been built and it's out of these pink blocks because I chose clay over here and I can do the same thing with this um, smaller chest here but it's not going to create 
all of these dispensers because not every of these the slots in the chest is filled like um, slot 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 and so on are not filled so it's going to uh, leave them out and I want these to be out of wool and it should be green wool now let's say lime green wool and I want the container to be dropper and this one that doesn't don't really matter because they ain't going to be created anyway but I want this one four times so I'm just hitting filter and you see it's out of lime wool and then I'll just hit save it really takes some time but then I can just head over to my Minecraft world again and you'll see these equippers are working like a charm okay so back here in Minecraft there it is the equipper um, this uh, is a structure I just created using the spawner filter and on top of it there is a sign which are the coordinates um, where you're going to be teleported or where you should become teleported um, with a comment block or something if you're going to be equipped um, I'm just teleporting there and let's see how it works I'll get to minus 42, 7 and 23 and you see I'll get equipped just yeah like this and it works like a charm you see I got um, the harming potion two times the weakness potion three times the strength potion two times again and the invisibility potion only once and that's exactly how we wanted it and you see inside of there and there are these potions and they are inside there actually 127 times but because you can only display 46 times in the dispenser and it, yeah, it counts down from 46 and then it starts again at 46 and yeah yes you see here it's still 46 and I got these um, yeah armor equipped and it still has the enchantments and the um, name on it because it actually copied the whole NBT data. I'll just get out of here. And I'll do this again in game mode 2 because I think it didn't work properly in game mode 1. This is uh, a very common issue. So I'll just. Yeah, you see, I get more. I, I should have gotten four of the weakness potions earlier already. But yeah, it's now. Now it's working. And I'll just get up there again. And of course, the same thing is working with the other with the other one here too this is the um, green one which just has the special version of harming the chain chest plate and the knockback stick because I didn't want I didn't fill any other slots these are just with wool other than here the ones with the dispenser and I'll just teleport there okay there's the set axis at 36 I got, I'm going to get a gamma too. You see, I just got the chain chest plate, the knockback stick and the special potions of harming and it worked like a charm. That's really great. And I'm teleporting up again and getting game mode 1. And now I'm showing you how it works. Um, it basically just creates this thing and it gets a signal from here because there's a pressure plate get the signal down here and what it does then is it sends these signals these are monostable circuits so for the time that uh, these comparators are not turned on so they don't deactivate the uh, torch this piston gets um, activated and puts the block up here so the clock sends um, yeah, a signal to this dispenser and it puts the items down there. And this is very fast. I actually got the idea from Minecraft PG5. And because this is so fast, it's the fastest system of um, creating a, an equipper. And I think it's, it's really great actually. And after some delay, it goes to this monostable circuit and so on. So it gives you um, every item at the right time and the, the filter just looks for how much items you want and 
and uh, edits the comparators like you want. And something else is that I created this hopper clock. No, no, it's just a comparator clock. And I had to give this comparator a tile tick so it automatically updates once you create the filter and go back into Minecraft because um, uh, the clock would be deactivated like this if you um, uh, would have left it like it was in MC Edit because MC Edit doesn't give any tile ticks to the blocks but like this yeah it works. The only minus with this is that you have to add like some uh, what are they called music discs you have to give them manually using a comment block because um, it, it doesn't know if you want the only one item of each to be in your hotbar or, or so on and it would be a little bit complicated to add this as a comment block so I just thought yes yeah, this should be enough and I think this filter is really great and it works with yeah nearly everything here I used these potions and the chest plates too this was some yeah bad tries <laughs> and yeah but I hope you enjoyed the filter and you can download it from the Crush Pixel website as always. And you see it's really easy to apply and so on. And see you then in the next video. Bye!